tired of answering the same whatsapp message from leads again and again what if an ai agent could qualify every lead for you automatically even while you sleep in this video you'll learn how to build a whatsapp lead qualification agent that chats naturally asks smart questions store the responses and books calls all in under 10 minutes here are the steps that you will follow to execute or create this ai agent First, you will set up the WhatsApp trigger in NA10. Second, connect an AI brain Google Gemini to handle conversation and we'll get rid of the open API paid API so that we can use free APIs. Add memory, that is the third step, so the agent can remember the chat history. Fourth step is auto store the qualified leads in the Google Sheets or a CRM. And fifth one is going to send a follow up or a booking link instantly so the lead can book an appointment on your calendar let's jump in and let me show you a quick overview of how i have set this up along with the systems that are involved or the servers along with it so first of all here's the entire workflow this is my live whatsapp number i say hi and this is not a test number by the way this is a live whatsapp number say hi the agent will respond back by saying what's your email address then this agent is going to ask a bunch of questions so What's your budget and when are you looking for it? And then can you, uh, are you a decision maker? And if you respond based on that, it's going to give you a message saying that, okay, here's the booking link and book the appointment. Okay. So this is the entire flow. This one orchestrates the question and answering. Now, if the lead is qualified, it's going to log it into a, a Google sheet like this, along with the score and reasoning and next steps. And then it's going to go back here and, um, if it is not qualified, it's going to respond saying that, hey, uh, you know, you're not qualified. That's the step that it's going to do, right? So that's the agent. Uh, how I've done my hosting of this N8 and platform. I'm going to, I basically go to Cloudbean. I say add a server and I select the memory of it. I select the application N810, right? And select the location, give the name and say launch server. Now what's... Really, really advantage with this Cloudbean server of NA10 is that if you choose any platforms like hosting or any other ones that are provided, they don't have the ability to upgrade your NA10 instance and it's a hassle to maintain it. But in this particular version, you can easily maintain it. It has a good size and it is dedicated. It always stays up. It does not go down. So that is why your flows will never stop. Anyway, so that is the entire agent that we have built. In the next steps, what we'll do is we'll configure this entire uh, the flow and I'm going to show you how this all the steps are going to be happening, including how to configure the WhatsApp agent and uh, the entire steps along with it. Okay, so excited. Let's go dive in and go step by step on how to configure this. If you want the resources uh, of this particular workflow, I will be providing them in the comment section below and also along with the cloud link so that you can start up your own instance of N810 and privately own your N810 and the data that you have along with it. Okay, we are going to build this entire workflow in two simple steps. One is going to be a system that is going to capture the lead details and the second system is going to store and score the leads. So let's begin with the first one and this one is the most heaviest configuration that we have. So uh, the first one that we're going to do right now is going to the WhatsApp lead. What you're going to do right now is you can import this entire workflow and then you need to go come to this section and say create credentials. So when you say create credentials, you need to put client ID and client secret, which can be gotten from developers.meta.com. So how do we get this particular part of it? You just need to go here, say my apps. So it will open up this one here. So if you see here, uh, I'm just going to take any one of them here. So let's just go. This is the place. I go click on this link. Let me now just click on it. Let me just create a new one so you can get a good one here. So you can just say create an app. Okay, so it's going to ask you a lead qualification agent. So I'm going to say next. I'm going to choose others. Say next. Then I'm going to say business purposes. Say next. And then you're going to fill in the details. Right? So which portfolio you need to ensure that you have the right portfolio to create your application. So I already have it. I have my GST details and all of that uh, already provided. So it's going to be very, very easy for me to create an app under that particular portfolio. So I'm going to say create. I'll ask your password, obviously. Okay, submit. Okay, so there's a two-factor authentication again. Let's see that. Confirm. Okay, and then you come here 
we need to set up the WhatsApp one here. So I'm just going to say set up this one. Okay. And then you will have this entire portfolio. So what you need to do is you can use, uh, you can go to the tool settings. First of all, the basic settings here. And then you'll get the app ID and the app secret available here. So that's the client ID and the client secret. And then you save these details. Once you save this, I already have mine uh, available here. And I'm going to use this one to be able to uh, receive the message from WhatsApp and be able to converse with it. So once this step is done, the message comes in. The AI agent then basically will qualify the, the message, right? So basically you will take in that entire message. You will say you're a friendly sales assistant, big qualification via Telegram and all that. And you will have all these details provided. And this is the prompt that is there. You can change the question based on what you want to be able to do here. But once you fill in the prompt, uh, it essentially, you know, gives you the whole idea of how the flow is going to look like. So you can just copy this, go into ChatGPT and modify it based on, based on your liking. And then that's the pretty much the flow. So the message comes in here from here and we need to configure the Google API. So you can just go to Google API key. API key here and this is going to go API key you can go to this link and then just say create an API key here create an API key give it a name select a project okay something like this and say create API key once the API key is created you can just copy this API key and basically go back here and then paste it here so that you get the google gemini api key and once the api key is generated you can add a memory which will store the conversations and remember the past history then finally what you'll do is you'll give a uh, you know structured output or example of how that agent should finally give you the details uh, and again you're going to use the google gemini api here so that the structured output is gotten so once that output is gotten if you just look at this particular attempt here with this uh, flow here right so all it does it it whatever the details that the customer provides it's storing all these details that's all and then it passes this one information to this particular node here which is going to uh, be a if node where the conversation is if it is not complete right because you have to have four or five questions right and there should be some way to ensure that you know that it's completed so the the way the second system really starts off with this status if it is not complete it's going to continue to have conversation but once it's completed then it will get this structured output uh, that will be available so that's the system one which is basically so the step one uh, basically passes the structured output from here system one to the system two this is how the structured output will be passed on to the system two and it's going to constantly check if it's completed or not completed once it's completed then what it's going to do is it's going to log in the details in a google sheet something like this and be able to pass this information to a google sheet which is something like this okay so i have to go back to canvas and now once it is there it's going to go response and saying that okay thank you for sharing the details and all that message you can program it to write there and here also you can program it to write if uh, program it to respond uh, based on whether or not they're qualified or not qualified now in the system too, there is one more major configuration that we need to do, which is the receive the message and sending the message at to the separate configuration. So let me show you how that is done. Once you have done the basic setup, what you can do is you can go to the API setup in the under the WhatsApp section here in the developers dot whatever it is here. And once you come here to this particular location, you can simply generate a token. This is the token that you'll be requiring. Now, if you have registered your WhatsApp number, You'll see my WhatsApp number is available here. It's already registered. You can use that number or you can get a test number, right? So that's that. Now, how to add this number? You can simply go here and I say add a phone number and uh, do this entire process to be able to get it. Again, okay, this is a sticky process. It fails for me also. It can fail multiple times. And then uh, you, you can uh, get this particular uh, a phone number that you have here and then what you can do is you can generate access token here so you just click on this generate access token this access token will remain here for the testing purposes right so if you just say continue and uh, you know just choose the account that you want to go along with it and say save okay so you copy this token 
Now what you want to go do here is come here and just say uh, paste this thing and then you need to give the business ID which is basically this WhatsApp business ID. So you just copy this and then paste it here and that's how you configure the send WhatsApp node. Okay, again this is chargeable node so that is why they have all these separate con uh, configuration. So once this is done then you can uh, do the, uh, the, the this particular part do, does the send message part uh, of this entire workflow. Okay, so this is the entire flow. This is system one and system two. And once this is done, your WhatsApp agent should be active. And if you start asking the question, you want to begin with by asking the email, uh, some details, and then it's going to give the link or not give the link depending on the qualification criteria you have set. So this is the entire process of creating this workflow. You can download this uh, in the resources section. If you want to launch your own NA10, you can go here add a server and start launching your own server and be able to operate from there. You now have a WhatsApp lead qualification agent that chats naturally, remembers the context, captures structured data and scores and prioritizes leads. Now, there are some quick troubleshooting tips that you need to be aware of. For example, if the trigger is not firing, ensure that you check your NA10 cloud instance is reachable and your meta credentials are valid. I like to go with Cloud Beans NA10 cloud instance that ensures that I'm always connected. Weird AI replies, simplify your system prompt and adjust the max token value. So the system prompt or the message that we have, the roles and responsibilities that the AI agent has, you can change that. Go to chat GPT, paste it, and then just iterate over that. And then uh, if there are any media or something that you want to do, that's a separate workflow right now. You can do this in a later stage. Right now, ensure that they're qualifying and storing it to Google Sheets or your CRM. Last but not least, now you have a fully working WhatsApp AI agent that reads messages, replies intelligently, and remembers conversation. If you'd like me to build this for your business or speed up your automation setup, click the link in the description. We specialize in turning these flows into real business results. This video helped you like, subscribe and comment below with what automation you like to see next.